Salutations. I come from Malaysia bearing two apologies. The first apology, last year I came with a very nice jacket. This year, yeah. I'm sorry for that. Second apology, some time back during the Malaysian Grand Prix, your Formula One driver Daniel Ricciardo won. And that sent the Aussie fans apeshit crazy. Because it's not common <laughs> for him to win. <laughs> and uh, they basically celebrated by stripping down to their underwear uh, with a Malaysian flag printed on the front, giving it uh, some 3D definition, <laughs> like blowing in the wind. Um, and they started shouting and drinking from a shoe. And the Malaysian authorities had the gall to arrest them just for practicing their culture. I'm sorry for that too. <laughs> but <laughs> so I, because I don't understand what happens because I've been here for a while now and you know how to behave. I've seen you wear clothes and drink from appropriate containers. I've seen you. <laughs> so I don't know what happened, whether you, you just left your manners here before you come to Malaysia or do you just adapt to ours very quickly? I'm not sure. <laughs> but I've been here, this is my third time at the festival. I've been treated very, very well. And I think I know why the Chinese like to be here. It's because you have Asian elements scattered all around to make us feel at home. There's a Chinatown in Melbourne, in Adelaide, in Sydney. Amazing. Here's some trivia. China has many things. You know what it doesn't have? Australia town. <laughs> no one does. China doesn't give a fing show you fuck about you. Why are you being so nice? <laughs> There are, so, there are so many Australians living in Malaysia. What have we done for them? Nothing. <laughs> there's no Australia town, there's no little Melbourne, there's no Sydney street. The only thing remotely Australian we have is Kuala Lumpur. <laughs> Which isn't even intentional. <laughs> but not you, no, you, you're very nice. You're too polite to even, you know, try and be racist towards me or try and stereotype me. I mean, the fact that my English solo show is held at the Silk Room in the Chinese Museum <laughs> is completely coincidental. <laughs> but <laughs> here's something that happened. I performed there last year as well, and it's, this is very surreal, and um, I'm telling this for the first time. So I'm there looking at the, the artifacts about the Chinese museum, a lot of Chinese here during the gold rush years. And imagine my shock when staring at the photographs, staring back at me, was the face of my great-grandfather, who I was told died fighting the Japanese, <laughs> leaving my great-grandmother to care for my grandfather and 12 siblings by herself, when all this while he was living it up down in Melbourne, <laughs> Sipping lattes and taking photographs. <laughs> now I know the truth. I think he was tricked to coming here though. I think what happened was he met an old rich Australian lady who was holidaying in Malaya, as it was called then. He fell head over heels in love with her and she said, why not follow me back to Melbourne? You know, be a gold digger. And the dumb Chinaman thought it was a metaphor. <laughs> Malaysia's good right now. We, uh, we just changed the new government last year. They're not very impressed. I hear you do this every fortnight. <laughs> but things are looking up now, and uh, if I got more jokes. If, if you want to hear them, you can come to Malaysia or the Chinese Museum. So thank you very much. Have a wonderful festival. My name is Douglas Lim. Terima kasih.